Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa has announced he will step down after protesters stormed his official residence and set the Prime Minister's house on fire. Neither the PM nor the President were in the buildings at the time. The announcement triggered an eruption of celebratory fireworks in the city of Colombo. Political leaders are due to hold further meetings to discuss a smooth transition of power. Sri Lanka's military has appealed to people to cooperate with security forces to maintain calm. After Saturday's events, the United States appealed to the Sri Lankan leadership to act promptly to resolve the country's economic crisis. Sri Lanka is suffering rampant inflation and is struggling to import food, fuel and medicine amid its worst economic crisis in 70 years. The extraordinary events of Saturday appeared to be the culmination of months of mainly peaceful protests in Sri Lanka. Huge crowds converged on the official residence of President Rajapaksa, chanting slogans and waving the national flag before breaking through the barricades and entering the property. Footage online showed people roaming through the house and swimming in the president's pool, while others emptied out a chest of drawers, picked through the president's belongings and used his luxurious bathroom. The contrast between the luxury of the palace and the months of hardship endured by the country's 22 million people was not lost on the protesters. When the whole country is under such strain people have come here to release that pressure. When you see the luxuries in this house it is obvious that they don't have time to work for the country, Hanukkah Jayasuriya told Reuters. Ousted in a day of fury by Etherajan Anbarasan, BBC News, Colombo these are some extraordinary times for Sri Lanka. After a day of fury and violence, the two senior leaders of the country have agreed to step down. The news triggered jubilation at the main protest site in Colombo. Firecrackers were set off in many parts of the city. I am at the Gale Face protest site. Many protesters have started returning home, thousands are still present. Some have been singing and playing musical instruments, celebrating. What a turnaround of events. A few days ago a photo of President Rajapaksa and Prime Minister Wikram Singhi smiling in Parliament was widely shared on social media. Many vented their anger, saying the two men appeared to be happy while millions were struggling to eat three meals a day. But a week is a long time in politics.